Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how you can use TextLink's API and no-code tools to send SMS from your device. To get started, all you need is a spare Android phone with a SIM card that can send messages to your desired destination. Head out to the TextLink website linked in the description, and the first thing you need to do is to create an account. You don't need to provide any personal info. Just enter your email address or sign in with Google. After you have created an account, open the second link in the description to download the app. In case you have never installed custom apps before, you will need to enable installing apps from unknown sources. Once you have installed the app, you first need to enable all the required permissions in order for it to work as expected. If you have a newer Android version, you may need to enable restricted settings for the TextLink app in order for it to be able to send SMS. You can see how it is done here. After enabling restricted settings, make sure to enable both SMS and phone permissions. Now log in to the same account that you have created earlier. If the app shows you the following confirmation, it means that everything is good and that you are all set up if you only plan to send SMS to your SIM card's source country, since it is included by default when you log in. You can test the integration on the test services page in your dashboard. However, if you plan to send SMS to other countries, there is just one more step. On the website, under the Devices and Setup option, go to the Dashboard page. In the list of your devices, click on the newly created device and then on the SIM card that you want to configure. To add a new country, press the Add Update a Country button. Select the country that you want to add and click the Add Country button. That's it. Now let's test if it actually works. Since I have added Canada as the recipient country, I will try to send an SMS to a Canadian number. Here are the SMS it has received. Let's copy the number into the dashboard. OK, we should wait a few seconds for it to appear in the list of received messages. Here it is, our setup is working. Now you can use our SMS tools to send messages through your device. Check out the other tutorials on this channel to help you master these tools. To get the most of your setup, you should keep your phone on charger, always connected to the internet with the app open at all times. You should also disable battery optimizations for the app or keep the screen on at all times. Disabling the battery optimization can be different depending on the device you are using. This is how I do it. Make sure to disable all battery restrictions if possible, since they may delay your messages if device is left unattended. Also, there may be some settings with the similar name, like device care or auto optimization, which may help, but are not what we are looking for. It is a best practice to both disable battery optimization and keep the screen on. Also, if you would like to receive SMS besides sending them from your dashboard, you will need to make TextLink your default SMS app, which will disable other apps from receiving SMS, as we will be showing you how to do right now. It is not advisable to do it if you are expecting to receive other SMS as that SIM card, and we recommend you to set up a brand new SIM card for that. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Until next time.